What is up guys, playing some more 3v3 today with Dapper and Garrett G. Like I mentioned in the last video, every single video from this point until after RLCS land, it's probably going to be all 3v3 with a bunch of different pros. So I believe you guys will be okay with that because you guys enjoy watching me play with other pros and the chemistry, seeing how different people work together and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what I mentioned in the last video, but I thought I'd mention it again in case you guys didn't watch that one. But yeah, let's get into the games guys. Let's see how it goes. All right, for the first game of the episode, we got ourselves against blue, platinums, and silver. Let's get into it. Patience from Garrett there. He's gonna panic on, on cheats like that and just throw the ball away, but that was good to slow down. That was good. No matter what game mode you're in, try to get the ball close to you, take control. You never really want to throw it away unless it's like 100% necessary to you. I'm gonna rotate out here to the right side for Dapper. Ah, it's gonna be cut out. Should be fine though. I like to try to give my teammates options by putting myself in the spots where um, the opponent's not gonna be. So position far from your teammates, like spread out from them. Try not to be clumped up too much to give a lot of options on clears and stuff like that. That can push this first for sure. See, I'm gonna stay far right for Garrett here. Try to just play it down however I can. Pick up some pads while I'm here. And I can probably pass it up to the right to Garrett. Really good save from Silva. Good follow up shot from Garrett though. Well done. Threes is all about like. Spreading out, keeping good spacing between your teammates, and um, you know, really just uh, rotating well around each other, using each other well. Hope they didn't take that as like a toxic one to save. That's what I. That's why I hit pause because I thought I think they might have, but Garrett was talking about the first save. That was a really good save from him. I don't know how he got back to that to be honest. I hope they didn't take that in a bad way, though. Up to gear. I don't think he expected it to be that fast. Ah, a little bit off target, but... Had to try to make that as fast as I could. There we go. I tried to stay in front of that. However I could. Decent 50 from him. Good touch from Dab. It's going to be a goal. Nice. Yeah, Dab touched that in a spot where they couldn't get it. Good follow up my 50-50. I'm gonna hit this back left. Hope Garrett doesn't cheat. If anyone goes for back left boost, it'll be okay. Oh, I got the bump on him. I'm gonna stay right side for Garrett. Over to Dapper. Or Garrett. <laughs> that would be kinda cool if I hit back into Garrett, but I was trying to hit it back to Dap. Pass this left. Good shot. Hold on. Pretty sure he wave dashed here. I don't think it really helped much on the shot, but I think he wave dashed. Yeah, he did. Good shot though. Well done, well done. I'm gonna look for my teammate. Should I pass over to Dapper? I right, should be back in time here. It's gonna be cutting it close, but it should be good. Oh, I moved up a little bit too far trying to bump that guy, but I didn't have any boost to follow up though, to be fair. I'm trying to stay middle for Dapper. A little bit behind me there again, so I had to stop. There we go, I stole it. Very last second. But we're spacing very well as a team, and that's what's leading to all these opportunities. I'm the kind of player that likes to look for passes a lot, so if my team's spacing around me very well, then we're normally going to do pretty good, because I can normally find the passes, and, um, you know, I, I try to put myself in uh, positions that my team can hit me up with the passes for as well. I focus a lot on my positioning when it comes to offense. Defense is something I need to definitely work on in terms of positioning, but... My offensive positioning, I, I'm normally in the right spot, and I uh, tend to have pretty decent game sense where my teammates are. 
that's what I focus on the most in threes. That's what I'm, I'm trying to still perfect. I mean, you can always get better at that kind of thing. There's never really a limit to how good you can get at it. Nice. <laughs> I went for that extra pass. Nice little passing plays. But that's the thing I work on the most in threes is trying to play the best I can to make my team play better. Try to be the, the best team player I can be. But yeah, let's get into the next game. Pretty good stuff overall for the first match. And one big tip I'd give you guys if you're trying to get better at threes, I'll mention this now, is what I've been talking about for the last about 30 seconds of this video. Positioning and offensive positioning, spacing with your teammates, is probably the most important thing when it comes to 3v3, to be honest. Being able to position, you know, laterally from your teammate and making sure you're always spaced out is definitely the most important thing for 3v3. So those are things you should be focusing on more than mechanics, in my opinion. Mechanics are important, but if you don't know how to position, it doesn't mean anything. So definitely focus on that and try to get a good sense of where your teammates are going to be. So you can make those blind passes where I don't even have to look to my left and I know somebody's going to be there because my teammates going to be positioning where I should be passing this ball. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So yeah, that's one big tip I'd give you guys. Let's get into the next game. All right, for the last game of the episode, we got ourselves against Frogman, Gojira, and Floater. Pretty good kickoff. Almost straight in. To the right. There we go. Good start. Exactly what I was talking about from the previous game. Just having a game sense to know my teammate's going to be there. I trust that he's going to be there. That's where he should be positioned. Player like Garrett G, um, you know, you're going to expect him to be in the right position there. So it all comes down to how good your pass is going to be. And pass is pretty good in that in that scenario. But insane shot from Garrett. As expected. I mean, it is Garrett after all. I'll grab this probably. Touch back to Dap. Get it from Dapper. Double fake from me and Garrett. Holy. Actually got back to the save. <laughs> Pretty sure his teammate bumped me into his other teammate. Dapper's insane at challenging those. I gotta get better at that. Dapper's incredible at challenging those. Oh my. I couldn't get a good shot on that at all. But almost worked out. Back down to Garrett for maybe a shot opportunity. I couldn't get it though. Staying back here. The cut out from Dap. Hit it off the corner for Garrett. I'm gonna rotate. Left the mid boost just in case Dapper wanted it to push up. That's fine that I died. Should be okay for Dapper. Place down to Garrett's side. He should have a touch to me. Ah, I should have just kept that a little bit lower, but it might still be a goal. Dapper with the touch here. There we go. Still works. Whether Dapper went fast, hit that off the wall to me, uh, I could have maybe passed it over to Gary. You know, there's so many different opportunities we had there. We we're spaced out very well as a team. Oh my, that was the perfect double touch. Jesus, it looks super nice, super clean, very fast. There's pretty much nothing they could have done about that. Those always look good. Let's keep it up. Try to play it off to Garrett's side. Killed one. There we go. Good team play. Again, as soon as I made that touch, I was pretty much useless after that point. So instead of making myself useless, just rotating out, I uh, try to do something relevant, look for the last guy back, the guy who would have had to make the save. And I took him out of the play. And gave Dapper a free goal, but very good job from Dapper to be there and finish that off. A little bit confusing here. I don't really know what's happening, so I'm not going to try to read any of this. Good touch from Dapper. Good try from them on the passing play. Could just sink it into the corner. There we go. They made a mistake. I saw they bumped each other. Then I made a quick touch to the side. And that last guy got too aggressive. But yeah, it's going to be all for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Beautiful little double touch. Have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys. Peace.